If the part you are modeling is completely symmetric, you can save even more time by modeling half of it and replicating the entire thing rather than individual features. The same mirror feature is used to accomplish this. First, I'll make sure the Mirror a Solid button is depressed. When I click it, notice the mirror window changes slightly. The first selection you need to make is for the solid body to mirror. But since there is only one solid body in the model, it is automatically selected. If I have any work planes, points, or axes that I'd also like to copy, I can activate the Include Work and Surface Features button and select those features as well. Next, I'll activate the Mirror Plane button. Instead of selecting a plane as my reference, I'll select this face, but I could have just as easily used a plane if an appropriate one existed. Again, you'll see a preview of the geometry that will be replicated. I want to keep the original solid, so I'll make sure the Remove Original checkbox is cleared. Otherwise, the body I selected will be deleted, and I'll simply be left with just the opposite half of this part and not the whole thing. Finally, I need to tell Inventor whether I'd like the type bodies to be joined, if possible, so that they form a single solid body, or if I'd like the resulting geometry to be considered two individual, separate bodies. Now that I've told Inventor exactly how I want the body to be mirrored, I can click OK, and the feature is complete.